Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Obsidian. In this video, we'll talk about Obsidian Data View. Obsidian Data View is one of the most powerful plugins, one of the most powerful community plugins in Obsidian. It turns your personal knowledge base into a powerful database system that you can use to query from. But a lot of people do not use Obsidian Data View because it's not as simple as just installing it and using it. You need to know a lot of more things and if you are a non-technical user, then this might scare you, but it doesn't have to anymore. This non-technical guide will help you to go from scratch to building your own database of personal knowledge inside of Obsidian. This video will teach you everything that you need to know about data view and how you can use it inside Obsidian to fit your workflow. Before we begin our tutorial, let me show you some of the examples on how I have used Obsidian data view. Here is my Obsidian dashboard and here we have got the nodes to process. This contains all of the nodes that I need to process. This is created or this is queried by using Obsidian Data View. Here are some of the recent nodes. This is also created by using Obsidian Data View. Uh, here is the reading list that I'm books that I'm currently reading, books that I have completed reading, books that I want to read in the future. All of this database is created by using a Data View plugin. Let me switch to another vault where I have got less number of nodes. There is a simple vault over here. Let me create a new file called Data View Tutorial. All of the examples will be written inside this particular node. Before we begin our Obsidian Data View tutorial, we need to know about YAML. YAML or YAML stands for yet another markup language and in Obsidian it is also called as front matter. It is designed in order to add metadata to our nodes. If you don't know what meta metadata is, let me show you it. Let's go to our explorer and see one of the videos that I have. So let me say, let's say this is one video. And what is metadata? metadata? If we go to properties and go to details section, here you will see uh, these different data such as the length, frame width, frame height, data rate. These are all the co all called as metadata. Metadata is the data of data. So one data is a video, video is a data, right? So the data about this video is called metadata. Just like this video has data such as length, frame width, frame height, our nodes also have data. Some of the data are automatically created such as the creation date, modification date, etc. But we can also add more data to our nodes in order to better utilize our nodes in the future. To add metadata to our nodes, we'll need to use front matter. Front matter can be added to our nodes by using three dashes in two lines. Let's close with three dashes and everything that you enter between this will be a metadata. Let's say we write a metadata for status is completed author is me the first you need to write the name of the metadata and you need to use these colons semicolons or i don't know what you say it and then space and then write the data over here maybe it's a number or my name just like this and if you are using wrong metadata it will just show you that the data is wrong you can see metadata invalid ml if you are using wrong formats so this is a simple example of adding metadata or front matter to your obsidian nodes now let's go and install Obsidian Data View. To do that, you'll need to go to settings, go to community plugin section, go to browse and search for Data View over here. It is one of the most downloaded plugins in Obsidian. And here you can see it has got 383,000 downloads. And you need to download it from there, install it, and go over the option setting and enable inline JavaScript queries and JavaScript queries because you may want to use JavaScript queries in the future. So now let's learn how to use Obsidian Data View Query. For that, you'll need to start with three backticks and it will automatically close the three backticks and write data view over here. This is the first step. Now there are different query formats that are available inside of Obsidian that are list, table, calendar, and tasks. And I don't personally use tasks and calendar, but I will show you all of the four query formats that are available. So let's say I want a list of all the nodes that I have in my Obsidian board. If I go over to preview mode, here you can see all the lists over here. Let me just delete this list-wise folder, I think, because there are unnecessary nodes over here and it will just slow down the process. So now here we have got a list nodes. Now here is a simple list, okay? This is all about list. Now let's talk about table. To create a table query, you need to start with three backticks, write data view and table. This will create a table. And here is a table because the difference between table and a list is that table has multiple headers while list does not have headers. So here is only one header. We, we only have one header right now. Here what we are saying to data view is, hey data view, create a table. Now 
if you want multiple headers you need to specify the headers that you want let's say hey data view create a table with header called author and status as well also create another header called let's say rating okay so if you go to preview mode here you can see we have got multiple columns over here but here is dash this dash means that this metadata is not available for this particular node so this is the simple table query format now if you want to use the different name for your header you can also do that uh, but let me show you let me open a book let me open a book note over here and see what we have what do we have in the metadata let me go to full mode go to preview mode over here here we have author status and rating let's rewrite this let's say i want to add this total pages for that you will need to create total underscore pages right page so if i go to preview you can see all the nodes that have the this metadata total page will be shown over here now total page as pages this will rewrite the heading as pages but show the data from total pages just like this right let's write author author in capital okay you need to be very specific about the use of uppercase and lowercase over here here we have small a inside the metadata section therefore you as you will also need to specify the same over here author as author and here we have rating as rating here we have three columns over here pages author and rating so this is a simple data view query for using table now let's use data view for tasks i didn't personally use obsidian for task management i previously tried to use obsidian for task management but it did not work properly i did not feel like uh, obsidian is best for that there's a lot of friction for using obsidian as task manager but i'll show you how you can use data view for task it's the same you need to write three back ticks data view and tasks over here not tasks just task and it will list all of the uh, tasks that you have inside your obsidian world let me just create a task over here let's say this is a task and if i just refresh this oh there's no data view written over here so you can see this is a task that is queried from this particular node by clicking on that you will be taken to the same node that has this particular task so let me go back and go to preview mode now let me show you how you can da use data view in order to show calendar for that you will need to use the same data view you can't use the capital d because it will not show you the results you need to use the small d data view so the file creation time this will show a calendar with all the files that are created and i have just created this wall today so today is 8th october and you can see all of the nodes it will show one dot for every node that is created in that particular date here we have 8th october and all of the nodes are created in this date if you write file modified time it will show the modification date other nodes are not modified only two more nodes are modified on this date so this was a simple example of querying different formats available in obsidian data view now let's learn about some of the advanced queries that you can perform inside of data view the first advanced query is the from query the from query helps you to specify what you are looking for are you looking notes from a particular folder or are you looking notes with a particular hashtag something like that now after this i will be showing you all the examples using a table format because if you know how to use data view by using table format then you can use data view for any other format as well so here you can here you write three back ticks write data view let's say table and what are let's see what we have got metadata so i'll just write total underscore pages as pages right and rating as i don't need to write as because i just want the heading rating so it's okay rating status status as status so this is okay so let's say i want to sort the notes with particular hashtag called book for that we'll need, i'll need to write from hashtag book this will query notes only from only which has the hashtag book if i go to preview mode here you can see these are the only books that are available inside my vault right now so you can see you write from hashtag book now if you want to query notes from a particular folder you re you write the name of the folder inside this quotes icon let me just copy the name of the folder 003 resources 
and let's edit this data view code let me close this node from here and from 003 resources folder if i go to preview mode it will show all of the nodes because i have specified that i want nodes from this particular resource folder for querying nodes from a particular subfolder you will need to write the name of the subfolder preceding with this slash icon let's say you have got another folder called books inside this you will need to write like this books 003 resources slash books if you want to query your notes from a particular link you'll need to write from let's say let's write 021 it will list all of the notes that have internal linking to 01 021 book so i don't have anyone so it will show no results if you want to query notes with outgoing link you will just need to write from outgoing use the small bracket and then the write the name of the note let's say peak performance and i don't have the any notes with this query as well so it will return the it will show the same result no results shown. so this is a simple example of using the advanced from query from hashtag book will only result the results from book so this is a simple example now let's learn about the advanced query where so i'll just write it in the next code block here code block here three back ticks data view i'll just copy it from here table total pages status okay here is a parsing error we have from hashtag book the where query can be used to further improve our notes database let's say i want to query the books that i have finished reading for that i'll need to let me first look into the books metadata let's say i have a status read i have the meta metadata status read if i want to query notes only with the read status i'll need to do this right where query all the notes from book hashtag book where contains status read so i'll need to write capital r and if i click on preview it will see it will show all of the notes that have read in the status i think i have done some wrong over here because instead of writing read over here i should write completed let me just change it completed and let me change the query here also where status is completed it will show all the notes all the book books that i have completed reading that are greatest salesman in the world zero to one peak from peak performance now let's say you want to query notes that you have not completed for that you will need to write the same code data view table total pages from hashtag book where it where the status does not com contain completed for that you will need to just write the exclamation marks and if you go to preview mode it will list all the notes that doesn't have this completed data in the status here this is a simple example of using where query let's say i want books with five star rating i can just write where contains rating i've got instead of status i'll write rating over here and i'll just copy the five star from here rating and i'll just copy this star and paste it here and if i go to preview mode i don't have any notes with five star rating inside my vault right now let's say i have let's say i change it to four and you can see i've got one book with a four star rating called peak performance so this is another way you can use the where query now let's talk about sorting out notes you can either sort your notes by using the code or you can use another community plugin called sortable but let's first see how you can use the code to sort your notes so here we have got the data view table from book and let's say i want to sort notes sort how do you want to sort notes let's say i want to sort modification time by file modification time and in a descending order desc means descending if you want to write if you want to sort by ascending order you can just write ascending asc so if i go to preview it will sort the files by modification time in ascending order and if i write o d e s c over here it will sort the files in descending order like this now let's say i want to sort these file names by pages i'll just write to total underscore pages over here in the name of total am time file modification time total underscore pages descending order here is something mistake we have got something mistake here we don't have any pages over here because we have got something mistake over here right so let's write t-o-t-a-l oh why is why is it not showing again because we have written wrong metadata over here we have written the wrong name of the metadata we'll need to write total underscore page and if you go to preview mode you can see the pages 
and here we have the all the nodes listed in descending order no we don't have it yet because we are using this wrong again total underscore page in descending order now we all we have these nodes listed in descending order if you want it in ascending order write just write a s c and the nodes will be arranged in ascending order of total pages they have inside of them so this is another example now you can also limit queries limit how many queries you want in your results for that you will need to use limit query so let me edit this code block and let's say i want to limit this to five nodes you just write limit five it will limit to five nodes limit seven it will limit to seven nodes it will limit if you write limit to it will limit to two nodes this is as simple as this oh i completely forget about mentioning the sortable plugin here it's another good plugin that can be used with data view go to comedy plugins click on browse and search for sortable over here and this can be used in combination with our data view plugin just like we added code we don't need to add code if we have got this data view plugin let me just limit uh, remove the limit function here and if we go to preview mode we have got these nodes if i have installed the sortable plugin then i just need to click on this heading and it will start sorting the nodes just like this i don't need to add any code right down right below the data view code over here i'll just need to if i want to sort by rating i'll just need to click on the rating heading and it will sort this node if i want to sort by status just click over here and it will sort these nodes if i want to sort by files just click on this file and it will sort these nodes in my obsidian vault by file name so this was it this is a simple data view tutorial i hope you like the video and you found the video helpful and i hope this video helps you to create your own database of personal knowledge inside of obsidian so that you can manage your knowledge better than ever before thank you for watching this video and if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video because i'll be coming with more videos like this in the future thank you for watching